Hello, my name is Blaine Trauber and welcome to this installment of Cardinal Country. Today we have stories on the new Arby's in town and our own resident welding champion. So let's get started with this piece on Arby's provided by Cody Meyer and Jacob Sandin. Arby's opened its doors here in town on April 17th and we decided to take a look and to see what people think about the new restaurant as well as interview one of the employees to see what they think. I'm Cody Meyer here at the new Arby's in Fairmont and I'm interviewing a customer on what he ate today at the new Arby's. So Tim, what'd you order and how are you liking the new Arby's in Fairmont? Oh uh, well I got, um, I got one of those chicken shakers and I like the sauce, it was really tangy and uh, savory but the best part was shaking the chicken, oh man I loved it and then I got curly fries which I love and I've been here three times in the last day ever since they opened it. I just can't wait to come back. So Tim, let me ask you, are you thinking Arby's? I'm thinking Arby's. Hi, I'm Cody Meyer here with Damien, who is the district regional manager of Arby's, who's now opening his eighth store, or overseeing his eighth store here in Fairmont. So Damien, how has uh, the opening been for you and Arby's? It's been very positive. The community has received us with open arms, and uh, we're glad to be here. We're glad to see all the people coming out to see us and say hi. And uh, what are the hot items on your menu? Hot items? Well, we got the Reuben sandwiches, which is really one of our big sellers right now, with the corned beef, sauerkraut, uh, marble rye bread, toasted. Very good. Otherwise, we have our new oven toasted subs. Um, we have the Italian sub, which has jalapeno peppers on it. It has salami, provolone cheese, ham a bunch of other great things on it. We have the Philly, the French dip, which is the traditional one that we've had for many, many years. Or else the beef and cheddars are always a popular sandwich as well. With Arby's open every day, 6 to 10, with the famous beef and cheddar to the famous seasoned curly fries, there's something for everyone and at Arby's. Are you thinking Arby's? That was interesting. I wish the new Arby's good luck here in Fairmont. We recently celebrated Cinco de Mayo, which stands for the 5th of May in Spanish. It commemorates the Mexican victory over the French forces at the Battle of Puebla on May 5th, 1862. Most people in America just think of it as a day celebrating Mexican heritage, but now you know the real history behind it. Now a story about Spencer King, state winner in welding. Have you ever needed something welded, but didn't know how? Well, Spencer King knows how. Spencer, can you tell us about your recent welding event in Albert Lee? Yeah, it was um, at Riverland Community College. There was 72 different uh, competitors. You could have three students from each school. So there was like 17 different schools that came. And um, we were tested in three different kinds of welding and a written test. There was uh, stick welding, wire feed welding, and gas welding. And um, basically just did three welds with each of those and you graded on strength and appearance in the weld. How did you do in the competition? I got first. What got you started into welding? Um, my dad likes bikes so he ordered this <laughs> Um, bicycle building book on the internet a long time ago and there were some bikes in there that we wanted to build so we talked to Mr. Bonin and borrowed a welder from him and he showed me how to do a little bit and then we just made some bikes one summer and then I took um, welding in eighth grade. And um, how often do you weld? Mm, not that often, just every once in a while in the summer, and then I had been doing it in shop class. That was a look into the wonderful world of welding. I hope the people who lost to Spencer were good sports. Speaking of sports, here's Lori. This week in sports, the Fairmont boys golf team won 324 to 419, while the girls earned a 417 to 434 victory. The medalists for Fairmont were Tori Edgington with a score of 95 and Miles Fingston with 77. The baseball team lost to Waseca 15-8. Josh Fitzgerald, Brock Frolick, Sean Ryerson, and Tyler Beck all collected hits for the team. 
The boys tennis team lost to St. Peter 5 to 2. And at the true track true team track meet, the girls track team placed 3rd while the boys placed 4th. Stephanie Brosma was runner up in 3 events and Paul Mallory also cl claimed multiple vi victories. The personal best for the year are Carrie Deckers in the 3200 with 12 minutes 32 seconds. Cassandra Burhau in shot put at 30 feet 11 inches. Kaylee Meyer shot put at 30 feet 2 inches. Trevor Bullock in the long jump at 39 feet 3 inches. Jesse Hins in shot put also at 39 feet 3 inches. And Taylor Catava in the pole vault with 11 feet 6 inches. Spring sports look, they are, look like they are off to a good start. It's nice to finally see some good weather. Let's keep it going, Cardinals. I hope you enjoyed this week's installment of Cardinal Country.